Joining me now is Joseph Wu, Taiwan's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Wu, thank you very much for joining me tonight, and, and good morning to you uh, in Taiwan. I, I wanted to get your reaction to this in the South China Morning Post. Uh, China tries to calm nationalist fever as calls for the invasion of Taiwan grow. What do you say to that, sir? Well, uh, in our deal with China, China has always tried to unify uh, their own way, uh, unify with Taiwan by peaceful means, uh, if possible. But they want to use military force against Taiwan if it is necessary. So we have been trying to prepare for a possible Chinese military action against Taiwan. And I think during this uh, outbreak of a pandemic uh, of uh, coronavirus, uh, invading Taiwan is not uh, the way to uh, deal with the pandemic, uh, but I think it's a possible way for China to deal with it. Uh, its own domestic pressure. Uh, the domestic pressure is growing against President Xi Jinping himself, and scapegoating on Taiwan is a possible way out for them. But for Taiwan, that is not the right thing to do. Taiwan is a democracy, and Taiwan is uh, ruled by itself, and we don't want any other country to uh, invade Taiwan. And I need to say that uh, the Trump administration has a moral courage to continue to speak out for Taiwan and provide Taiwan with defense uh, mechanism and defense forces. And we appreciate that very much. Yeah. Um, it, what is your reaction to the call for retaliation against China? And, and how much do you think they did cover up what they knew early about how deadly this virus was? Uh, for us, the most important thing uh, is to investigate the origin of this coronavirus. Uh, as long as we understand how it started, then we will know uh, possible ways to deal with it. And right now, uh, China still doesn't want to uh, reveal to the world how it started. And I hear uh, from the uh, international community, from Australia, from European countries, and also from the United States, that they need to investigate uh, the source of the problem from Wuhan area. And we support that kind of action. As long as uh, the investigation is uh, possible, uh, I think Taiwan is going to be much safer. And we support the international investigation process. And since Taiwan is not affected as badly as other countries, and therefore compensation is not uh, what we want at this moment. Yeah. Um, it, according to the numbers, uh, Taiwan has only lost seven people to the COVID virus, which is obviously a, a very low number and very good management of it. Um, Secretary of State Pompeo is speaking out on Taiwan's behalf in terms of asking the WHO director to include Taiwan in the assembly. There's some pretty fierce pushback on that. Uh, from China. They're saying under the current circumstances, Taiwan has hyped its so-called participation in WHO activities and returned to the World Health Assembly. Its real purpose is to use the epidemic to seek independence, which is complete political manipulation. What's your response to that, sir? Uh, we support the United States support for Taiwan. Uh, we appreciate the United States support for Taiwan to participate in the WHO and the related activities and mechanism. Uh, Taiwan has been excluded from the WHO for a long time, and I don't think it's right. Uh, looking at the uh, pandemic, uh, if we are able to detect the situation early and uh, receive the information from the WHO early, uh, I'm sure Taiwan is going to be able to help the rest of the world so much more than uh, the situation right now. Uh, but the Chinese uh, excuse is that Taiwan is part of them. Uh, and therefore, uh, they are taking very good care of Taiwan's health need. But that's just a lie. Uh, look at the Taiwan situation. We are ruled by ourselves. We have a democratically elected government, and we have a health authority administering, administering uh, Taiwan's health need. And therefore, uh, Taiwan is not part of China. And as a result, we have the same right as any other country uh, to apply for the participation in the World Health Assembly. And I appreciate uh, the U.S. effort, not only in supporting Taiwan, but also trying to encourage other countries uh, to support Taiwan's participation in the WHO. And I think it's a national inspiration in Taiwan to be able to participate in the WHO and its related activities so that Taiwan's experience can be shared and Taiwan can receive help uh, when it is necessary. 
Well, it, it appears you have the strong support of Secretary of State Pompeo and the president in that regard, and that the UN is also now speaking out on behalf of the need, given its charter and its principles for the participation of China, of Taiwan, I should say, in those uh, WHO talks as well. Um, thank you very much, for Mr. Foreign Minister. Mr. Wu, good to see you this evening. Thank you for joining yes, us. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Martha.